Hi everyone, welcome back to Box Delights. Today we're playing Ecosystem Coral Reef. This is a follow-up to the original Ecosystem game, which I wrote some solo rules for, and this time those solo rules have been published in Coral Reef. So, original design by Matt Simpson, development of the series by Steve Schlepphorst, and rather than in the forests of North America, this time we are in a coral reef ecosystem. There's a few differences. So there are different species that the game presents. We'll be doing different things, adding new layers of depth and challenge to the game. In the original ecosystem, we had a diversity rule. So you had to try and make your ecosystem as diverse as possible. There's a new spin on that in Coral Reef. This time we have three different types of what they call food webs. We've got producers, we've got prey, and we've got predators, and then off to the side, which don't belong to any particular food web. We have the turtle and the octopus. What we do this time is you group when you're scoring, so the producers will all score together, then the prey, and then the predators. You'll collect the total score for each, and you'll get a food web bonus equal to whichever those three collectively scores are the lowest. Okay, so there's still a little bit of diversity there. And then the turtle and the octopus have a little bonus on top. So let's dive in and let's demo and see how this plays. I should also say, look at the wonderful artwork here from Mesa Schumacher. It looks great, right? This is a game of mindfulness and having wonderful artwork really adds to that experience. As I say, we're going to play the solo game. In the solo, we're going to be playing against Mocha. Mocha, named after the giant white whale that was an inspiration for Herman Melville's Moby Dick. We have a reference card here that tells us how each of the different species in Coral Reef will score. Plankton is a majority scorer, so whoever has the most plankton. Coral gets three points if it's in the bottom row. Remember, we're forming, like ecosystem, we're forming a grid that is at most five cards wide and four cards deep. Krill scores points for groups of krill, so orthogonally adjacent groups of krill will score more points. On the prey side, so we've got the clownfish. They'll score two points for each adjacent coral and plankton. Okay, like so. The grouper scores three points for every adjacent krill and then the crab scores two points for each plankton in the same row okay not column but row the predators are probably the more difficult ones to get in there but sharks are quite simple two points for every prey in the same row or column the eel probably the most difficult to score four points so they're worth a lot of points for each adjacent prey, but only if the, adjacent, if the eel is adjacent to coral. Not adjacent to coral, he's not scoring anything. And then the whale. Before scoring the whale, flip an adjacent card face down. So they're taking up space in the ecosystem, and that's before scoring. So a face down card's doing nothing. But the whale scores two points for every krill in your, in your ecosystem. And then lastly, we've got turtles. You'll score two points for every row and every column that contains at least one turtle. And then the octopus scores a flat three points. But when you play the octopus, you can move a card or swap the position of two cards. Okay, so octopus lets you rearrange stuff. And that's it. Remember, food web bonus is equal to the lowest in either your producers, your prey, or your predators combined. Right? Okay, that's it. So that's how they score. We'll see that again when we come to game end. In the solo game, trying to deprive Mocha of any plankton is a good idea. And you can see that you're hopefully placing cards for Mocha that score them zero points. So the way it works is we're going to be creating our ecosystem and Mocha's ecosystem during our turn. So you're trying to maximize points for your ecosystem and minimizing points for Mocha's. And then your end score is the difference between your score and Mocha's score 
and we've got to beat marker by 55 points. We want a 55 point margin on for easy victory, 70 for normal, 80 for difficult. All right, so that's our targets. All right, let's finish shuffling up. The rules of the game are really straightforward. There's a big stack of cards. We're not going to use anywhere near all of these for a solo game. We're going to start by drawing ourselves a hand of 10 cards. On your turn, you play one card into your ecosystem, you play one card into Marco's ecosystem, and then you draw a card. When you play cards into your ecosystem, you've got to make sure you're playing adjacent to another card, so that's orthogonally adjacent, not diagonally. And you're not exceeding the bounds of five wide and four deep. When you play a card into Marco's ecosystem, you just start at top left and proceed to the right. When you create a row of five cards, instead of drawing one card, you'll draw five cards. So your hand kind of gets refilled again. And then you'll do that four times until there's two ecosystems, one for yours, one for Mocha, and then you'll score. Okay. All right, let's have a look at our hand. Like I said, we probably want to, well, Plankton on the bottom row is good for me, on the top row it is bad. So if I played this into my ecosystem, I want to make sure that's my bottom now. So I'm probably going to be extending up like so. But given that we're playing from top for Mocha, that might be a good card to throw at Mocha because it won't score any points. We do want to maximise Plankton. So let's get a Plankton down for me. We'll discard this one for Mocha, and then that's it. So play one, discard one for Mocha, draw a card. Okay, right, we've drawn a Clownfish. Now remember, Clownfish scored two points of being adjacent to Plankton and Coral. So if I discard this now for Mocha, that's going to score them two points. I don't want to do that. A Conga Eel, I don't want to give that to Mocha, because that's going to score... It's adjacent to prey, but only if it's next to coral. So what I might do... Mm -hmm. Crabs are worth two points of being next to plankton, so why don't I put a, a crab? I'll play a crab into mine. I've not decided yet whether this is the top, the bottom, the left or right. I've not decided where in my coral reef this is going to be, where in my ecosystem. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this krill for mocha. Groups of krill are good. Oh no, another clownfish. Okay, I want to get rid of the clownfish if I can. Well, let's get one in. I mean, if I play one here, they'll score two points of being next to plankton um, and coral. So I might actually just throw that off there. That's not so nothing for mocker yet. Let's draw one. Okay, turtle. That's a, th a flat three points. Turtles. Hmm. I probably want to get a predator here next to this prey, but I don't have. Well, I've got the conga eel, but it needs to be next to coral, which I don't have. I probably shouldn't have thrown that. So at the moment, I'm relying on drawing one. Well. I could get another. I could get another clownfish up here and probably throw one over there as well, because that's not going to score marker any points. Let's draw. Okay, another plankton. I probably want to throw the plankton into me because I don't want to give them any. That might be good. And then possibly throw the krill. That's not scoring any points. We've reached the end of a row. We draw five cards instead of one. Okay, there's some plankton. I wanted plankton. Uh, coral, sorry. So if I make this the bottom row, that might be good. Because I could play this predator here. 
let's say I get rid of yeah, I'm not doing very well on the krill front. This is immediately giving them three points. But I think I might have to do it. I think we're going to give them the three points. Draw a card. But now if I put planks, uh, coral, let's make that the bottom of my ecosystem now. Yeah, I like that. And it looks like I might have to just give them a turtle as well. We've drawn another coral. That's okay. So I could play this here. That's three points to me. Get rid of a krill, which I don't like, but I'm giving them lots of krill and I haven't got any. Okay, we've got a grouper. Groupers are three point for each adjacent krill, so maybe that's the thing to do now, is get some krill. Hmm. I'm giving them another two points by giving them the turtle. I think we'll play the grouper. Give them the crown fish. Now we draw five. Okay. Now a group of krill would be good. So something like that. Let's toss this to him, because that's not the bottom. Right, now we've got another krill, that's good. So I'm gonna get that up here. And then possibly crab. I might have to just make a little bit more space. I think we're looking like this now. Right, draw a card. Krill. Right, I've got lots of plankton and the shark. Now remember, sharks are scoring two points for every prey in the same row and column. So if I put that here, that's going to be two, four points. Um, hmm. I've got lots of plankton, which I didn't want to see. Groups of three krill are good. Anything more than three doesn't really benefit. Uh, possibly this. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to chuck in another plankton, aren't I? Yeah. And then that's not great. Giving away points. All right, that's good. I got a coral to throw. But I really don't want to give them plankton. All right, we've got another grouper. So I might actually put the grouper here. The krill here, draw five. Right, this is the last row. Wow. Oh no, <laughs> more plankton. I didn't want to see that. So, I think shark at the top, although I could have, I could have given him the shark. I've got to put one in my hand and then I could leave one. One card's going to be left unplayed. I think we'll play this. Here, we'll give him the shark. Or do we give him the crab? Let's give him the crab. Yeah, because we're not going to give him planks. Draw. Okay, coral. If I give him this coral, it's going to score him some points. It's three points. 
I think we're going to put this here. We'll give him a krill. Draw. Okay, we got a uh, clownfish. Clownfish here might be good. And I don't think we can avoid this. Crab. I think we'll play a plankton here. A krill here. Draw. And these are our final cards. A crab, angelfish, and then this one goes unspent. Right, we didn't see any whales. We didn't see any whales. That's a shame. But let's do our scores. So, score pad. Okay, so we've got Ricky and Mocha. Let's grab our reference card. Let's do from the top. So, for corals, three points upon the bottom row. We've got two, so that's six points for us, three points for them. Krill. One, four, or nine for connected groups of krill. So I've got one connected group of three krill. That's nine points. And has he got any krill? Yes. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six singletons. So that's one point each. Six points. He didn't have a group of two. So that's okay. Plankton. Whoever's got the majority scores 12 points. Well, that's me. Whoever's got the second most scores eight points, he's got zero, so that denied him those eight points. So I'm happy with that. Okay, groupers. Groupers are three points for each adjacent krill. We've got a grouper here with no krill adjacent. I was going to plan to put some in here and I failed at the last minute. So we got one grouper who's got one adjacent, one adjacent, that's six points. He doesn't have any groupers. Clownfish, two points for each adjacent plankton. So we've got a clownfish here for two, four points, eight, and then we got two, four, six. That's 14 points for me. He's got plenty of clownfish, but no plankton and no coral adjacent. Yeah, diagonal doesn't count. So zero for him. We've done good so far on limiting Mocker's score. Crabs. Two points for each plankton in the same row. So two, four, six. Uh, six points to us, zero for him. He's got crabs, but no plankton. You can see how important plankton is. Eels. So we've got one eel. Um, it's adjacent to coral, so that's good. And it's worth four points for each adjacent prey. So four eight eight points for the eel they don't have any eels good good so zero there sharks we've got one shark uh, two points for each prey in the same row or column so two four six eight eight points for the shark zero over here nice and then whales, unfortunately, neither of us have got whales, so we couldn't even show you how the whales worked. <laughs> but, like I said, if a whale came out, let's find a whale. Whales score for krill. Whale is the big predator. So we would have to flip an adjacent card before we started scoring. And then they score uh, two points for every krill in the ecosystem, two, four, six. Okay, and that loss of that plankton would have really hurt us or could have hurt us a bit but there you go that's the whale okay so zero points for whales now we score our food web totals so really easy for mocha here they got nine zero zero we've done a fantastic job of limiting mocha's score but let's see uh 21 27 for producers for me prey we've got 26 and then predators, we didn't do so well, only 16. So that's probably one of my lowest um, prey scores. Then you take whichever 
Food Web Group has the lowest, so for them it's zero. They get a zero bonus, for us it's 16. So we get a 16 bonus. Now we need to count our turtles and our octopuses. Unfortunately, we don't have either. So we've got zero turtles, zero octopuses. And this is where they're going to get a little bit of a comeback because they've got two octopuses. That's six points. And then for each unique row and column with a turtle in it. So they've got one row with a turtle and two columns. That's two, four, six points. Now we add up all the shaded parts for our final score. So Mocha has nine plus zero plus zero plus zero plus six plus six. That's 21 points. So they did really well on turtles and octopuses. We've got 27 plus 26 plus 16 plus 16 plus zero plus zero. That's 85 total. Have we got enough? for a victory. Remember 55 is our target for an easy victory, 70 for normal, 80 for a, a difficult victory. We haven't managed that. Our total score is 85 minus 21 which equals 64. 64. We've managed an easy victory but not enough. We're just a bit short. 70 was our target. We're a little bit short for a normal a victory, but only just. In fact, I would really hope for at least a normal victory. So I'm looking for 70 points, really. 64, not quite enough. So we managed to limit Mocha quite a bit, but we just didn't get enough diversity, I think. We've got one predator here, we've got one shark. I think perhaps if we'd have gotten a whale in there, we might, two, four, six, if we'd have gotten a whale in there, we might have, that grouper didn't do anything. That might've been better. Six points there. Yeah, that would push the predators up to 22, so yeah, another six points. So that whale might have actually got us an additional 12 points and might have been enough for a, a victory. Perhaps if we'd have put an octopus in here, not the grouper, possibly. But you can see how important getting this food web bonus can be. There we are then, that's Coral Reef Ecosystem from Genius Games, designed by Matt Simpson, solo rules by Ricky Royer. A nice, swift game of mindfulness, beautiful artwork, plays two to six multiplayer. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.